Another type of phonetic anemia is in enzymopathy. Uh, enzymopathy is uh, this is a disease of the uh, RBC's enzyme. RBC's enzyme, we have uh, many enzymes as RBC's, but we will concentrate on the very important enzyme. It's glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. Abbreviation of it is G6BD. Deficiency of this enzyme is a quantitative or qualitative and the function will lead to decrease in the very important substance NADPH and reduced glutathione. NADPH and the reduced glutathione are very important for the RPCs to live for the complete lifespan 120 days and to protect the RPCs against oxygen stress. NADPH and the reduced glutathione will protect the RPCs during exposure to oxygen stress. Exposure to oxygen stress in deficiency of this enzyme will lead to intravascular remorse, destruction of the RPCs, and acute hemolytic anemia. Oxygen stress are many, but we will give some examples like favapines, drugs, and infection. Uh, clinically, there is a history of exposure to this substance either in diet or drug or infection, occurrence of infection. Laboratory will find the manifestation of intravascular hemolysis, as we mentioned before, hemoglobinuria and hemocytrinuria. Change of the color of the urine, dark color urine, because of the presence of hemoglobin and the iron in the urine. Blood film, peripheral blood smear show, RBCs, fragmentation, but the confirmatory test is the assay. Enzyme assay, enzyme assay of the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Peripheral blood smear, we can see the fragmented red blood cells. We can see the bite and the blister cells. The bite and the blister cells are due to oxidized hemoglobin. Oxidized hemoglobin can uh, be seen uh, clearly by supravital stain. Supravital stain, we will find the high spots. Oxidized hemoglobin molecules, Heinz bodies, by supra vital stains. Uh, a specific type of the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency is fafism. Fafism due to exposure of the fafapines. Fafapines uh, are oxidative stress materials or oxidative stress diet. It will lead to uh, intravascular hemolytic anemia uh, in baby or in child. Exposure to certain drugs like anti-malarial drug or sulfonamide also uh, they are uh, oxygen stress and they may lead to acute intravascular hemolytic anemia. We have other causes of intravascular hemolytic anemia like incompatible blood transfusion and the uh, occurrence of hemolytic transfusion uh, reaction. Some autoimmune hemolytic anemia, the autoantibodies will destroy the red blood cells intravascular. Uh, March hemoglobinuria in soldiers. Uh, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia or fragmentation hemolysis due to inflammation of the blood vessels, vasculitis, and so on.